Assalamualaikum and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to my class, BAA 4273, The Earthquake and Wind Engineering. We're still in topic number four, which is the seismic design of reinforced concrete buildings. Today, in part 2A of this topic, I will talk about the importance classes and the importance factor. According to clause 4.2.5 in Eurocode 8, buildings are classified in four importance classes depending on the consequences of collapse for human life, on their importance for public safety and civil protections in the immediate post earthquake period, and on the social and economic consequences of collapse. The importance classes are characterized by different value of importance factor. I hope you still remember this symbol, where we use this symbol in order to determine the alpha G from the reference peak ground accelerations. And this value is very, very important in order to determine the spectral acceleration at fundamental period of vibrations during the development of the design response spectrum. According to table 4.3 in Eurocode 8, the importance classes is characterized for different value of buildings. Let's say important class one is for buildings of minor importance for public safety. For as, as, as an example is for the agricultural buildings. Important class three is for buildings whose seismic resistance is of importance in view of the consequences associated with the collapse. For example is school, assembly halls, cultural institutions, etc. And for importance class four is for buildings whose integrity during earthquakes is of vital importance for civil protections, such as the hospital, fire stations, and power plant. By referring to this uh, subclass, the value of importance factors for important class two shall be by definition is equal to 1.0. So the value for import the value of importance factor for importance class two is 1.0. And the value of importance factor for important class one is equal to 0.8. For importance class three is equal to 1.2. And for importance, class 4 is equal to 1.4. And this is the recommended value of importance factor for Malaysia by referring to uh, table E1 in Malaysia National Annex. The value of importance factor for importance class 1 is 0.8 which is for minor constructions. For importance class two is 1.0, which is for ordinary buildings, which is the individual dwellings or shops in low rise buildings. For buildings in importance class three, which is for buildings of large occupancies, such as the condominiums, shopping centers, school and public buildings, the value of importance factor is equal to 1.2. And for the lifeline built facilities, such as the hospitals, emergency services, power plants, and communication facilities, the value of importance factor is equal to 1.5, and it classifies as importance class 4. So this is the difference between the recommended value from Eurocode 8 and the recommended value to be used uh, based on the Malaysia National Annex. 
that's all for this part. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your time. Think positive. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.